Noel Wayne never thought of himself as a pioneer. He just loved to fly. And while others marveled at his seemingly impossible Arctic and Alaskan flying accomplishments, Noel just considered it part of the workday routine. He once wrote, and we quote here, my goals were simple, to spend my life in aviation, to raise a family, to own a home, to serve well the land of my choice, and God willing, to bounce a grandchild on my knee. Noel Wayne was born on June 8, 1899, at Lake Nebagamon, Wisconsin, John and Mary Wayne's second of six children. In 1905, the family moved to a homestead in northern Minnesota, near the town of Cook. School never held much interest for Noel. He was more interested in automobiles and airplanes. His life was changed forever in May of 1921 when he received his first airplane ride from Major Ray S. Miller, an instructor at the Curtis Northwest Airplane Company's flying school. Miller immediately recognized his new pupil, Noel, was a natural flyer and a skilled pilot was quickly born. That very summer, Noel was on a cross-country barnstorming tour with pilot E.W. Morrill and his wife, Marie. Originally, Noel was just to help with ground chores, but he ended up doing half the flying. For the next few years, Noel gave flying lessons, and he honed his aerial skills, performing with several barnstorming groups, including a flying circus. In May 1924, Noel accepted a job flying in Alaska, even though he didn't know much about the territory. He said it looked like a steady job in an interesting place. Noel arrived in Anchorage in early June, a veteran aviator all of 25 years old. He spent several weeks giving passengers rides and performing stunts. On July 6th, Noel and mechanic Bill Yunker made the first flight from Anchorage to Fairbanks, taking just under four hours. The last 80 miles of that trip were spent flying in thick smoke. Alaska was not like any place he'd ever flown before. Noel quickly learned of the dangerous challenges Alaska offered pilots. In addition to the sub-zero winter, winds and fog, all the swamps, brush, timber, and mountains made the odds of surviving an emergency landing slim at best. On August 19, 1924, Noel made the first passenger flight to a remote outpost, much to the surprise and delight of the villagers. Now they could receive supplies, medical help, and mail from Fairbanks all year round. Aviation was opening up isolated areas in Alaska. In 1925, Noel was issued his pilot's license, signed by Orville Wright. Noel returned to the States that year to buy an airplane for the Fairbanks Airplane Company. When he returned, his older brother Ralph came along as a mechanic. In fact, each time Noel visited his family, another brother would return to live and work in Alaska. Early in May 1925, Noel made the first flight north of the Arctic Circle, but on the return leg made a forced landing. 80 miles from the nearest town, on foot with only three biscuits for food, Noel crossed the tundra and icy rivers walking into Nanana three days later. This incident taught Noel to carry provisions and survival equipment in the future, a need he made sure to pass on to others. In 1925, Noel made the first of many mercy missions, flying sick people from isolated villages to a hospital, or delivering smallpox vaccine and doctors to remote villages. With each flight, Noel added information and safety techniques still used by today's bush pilots. In 1927, Noel, his brother Ralph, and several investors established the Wien Alaska Airways in Nome, flying the first customers that summer. For the first time in Nome's history, the people weren't isolated from the United States from October to June. They even received mail and fresh food for Thanksgiving. In March 1929, Noel made the first American round-trip flight between North America and Asia, and the first aerial crossing of the Bering Strait in minus 40 degree weather. Newspapers eagerly reported on such flights by Noel, calling him the Lindy of the North and the Arctic Ace. But Noel didn't think his exploits were newsworthy. He was just doing his job. 
Noel met Ada Arthurs of Nome, and they were married there on May 19, 1929. The Waynes had three children, Merrill, Jean, and Richard. The boys shared their father's passion for aviation and eventually went into the family business. Despite being diagnosed with polio in 1939 and an accident that later cost him an eye due to infection, Noel continued to fly successfully and safely into the 1950s. Noel remained active into the 1970s, not only as a company director, but also in civic affairs. He passed away on July 19, 1977. In recognition of his truly courageous and pioneering accomplishments, Noel Wien, the father of Alaska bush flying, has earned his place in the National Aviation Hall of Fame.